So to successfully run the curve, we need to be in a nice tall position where we can be strong on the ground and we need to have a nice rhythm to our running. So we're gonna use straight leg scissor to practice this tall bouncy position and to find this nice running rhythm. Now when we run, we want to be in a nice high running position, which allows us to take bigger and faster steps, but also sets us up for a big takeoff position. So we're gonna use high knee running to learn to have a nice tall posture and a big running knee. Now when we combine these, this is how we run the curve. We have the inside leg taking a small step and creating strength in our position, and the outside leg is taking a big step around the curve. But that means our left and right leg are doing different things. So we're gonna learn how to do this with a single leg clap, where one leg is creating stiffness, the other leg is creating a high running position. So now it's time to transfer these skills to the curve. So I've set out a big circle in front of the high jump mat and we're gonna practice our straight leg scissor drill all the way around the circle where we're working on this nice tall posture and creating stiffness and rhythm. Now the next part was to have this high knee running that creates a big stride length and speed on the curve and sets us up for that big takeoff position. So we're gonna practice our high knee run around the circle. Now that we've developed these nice postures and running speed on the curve, we need to think about how we're gonna convert this into a takeoff. So I've added these barriers here that's gonna force us to take off from our curve, but we need to remember we're always taking off with the foot furthest away from the bar, which is gonna be our inside leg on the curve. So hopefully we're ready now to transfer our new approach running skills to the high jump. So we're gonna come in around the curve, taking off with the leg furthest away, and we're gonna rotate over the bar and have some fun. <laughs> 